Hello there, my name is Ismail. So today we're going to be making this high-rise building in Blender. And uh, this tutorial is, uh, is sponsored by uh, Faizo Saudi. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Uh, yes, yeah, so he's one of my Patreons and uh, he requested this tutorial on how to make a high-rise building like this. A night uh, building uh, scene like this. Not the entire scene, just uh, this building because this would be... Uh, this would this would be a lot but uh, if you can make this building these other buildings are also simple to make uh, so yeah he was kind enough to also provide this re reference image uh, so that we can see I can see what he wants done and uh, yeah so if you want to request a tutorial for, as well you can just go over my patreon and become a patron there and you can request any type of tutorial uh, that you want done if I'm able to do it I'll be doing it in at least one week and uh, yes yeah, so again thank you Faizo Saudi, I hope I'm not butchering your name. And uh, also, I uh, thank all my patrons. Uh, let me mention them a bit. Uh, so, Battle Dash, uh, Bruno, uh, Daniel Sham, uh, Faizo Saudi, uh, Original Bark. Uh, also, with uh, Original, Original Bark, also requested a tutorial a few days, uh, I think, about a month ago, about the, the Shiva uh, tutorial. Uh, so, again, I thank him for that again. Uh, we also have Peter Branner, I hope I'm really pronouncing your names right. Uh, if I'm not, please forgive me. And then I can't really say this, read this name because it is in, uh, uh, it's in, I think, Russian. Uh, but uh, I really appreciate uh, that. I, I, I don't really read Russian. And uh, the other person I, um, I would like to also thank is uh, Perry Tufek. Uh, Tufek Gian, I'm not sure. He's not a Patreon, but he's a follower, so he follows my Patreon page. So if you, if you're not able to, uh, to, uh, to support as a Patreon, you can also just become a follower on the Patreon page. And uh, sometimes I do give away, uh, uh, 3D stuff to my followers too on Patreon. So yeah, you can also follow that. And uh, so let's dive in and uh, get started. So if you look at this building closely, you can see that uh, uh it's it's kind of repeating a lot uh say this is a like all buildings are re repeated uh just every floor of every building is just a copy of uh, the last floors as you can see this uh there are many floors here but uh they are all just copies of the first floor here uh so an array modifier would be would really work well on this building but uh i'm going to approach this differently uh, just so because I don't think the array modifier will really work very well here. Uh, so let's see how we're going to do it. So the way I want to approach this is that uh, I want to create to model a plane like this, to have a plane like this. Add in the, de the details, say, uh, let me s just add a few details here. Bevel view. So maybe make something like this and then uh, adding the windows and uh, all the details that would be on on every part here and just uh, texture it and do everything else. Uh, so then I can come in and uh, just uh, move things uh, like this, move the planes like this until I get uh, the design of the building uh, that I want. And then after I'm done, I can just merge uh, this into the the entire high rise uh this will make it easy for me to make to randomize the different windows that you see there because you can see that uh, though the flows are uh, copies of uh, uh the the first floor there is variation because uh the are the different windows or different yeah different windows uh have a lit and others are not lit so we need to find a way of vari making variations in that and uh, uh just having one single object like this a single one in one building like this would be really hard uh, for would be really hard to texture and uh, even when we did texture it correctly I would have a really large file uh, to maintain uh, the uh, the resolution that is needed for a good quality uh, building yes yeah, so and now we can easily optimize this and uh, even if you and uh, the, the, the the good thing about this approach is that uh, you can also make different designs from just this uh, this single plane rather than uh, doing it this way you would using the array system uh, you would be 
you will only be able to create uh, the design you are looking at but uh, with this approach uh, we can come in and uh, change uh, the design the way in any way we want so maybe we can just make that there like that uh, then duplicate this maybe rotate 90 degrees and uh, maybe we can so you can easily make the any design you want when we approach it uh, like this rather than just building the entire block uh, at once so let's dive in and uh, get started just close this uh, sorry delayed all of that and uh, zoom in a bit here you can see the shortcuts I'm using here let me make sure that uh, my audio is good and um, let's start by making this portion here so shift a I can also use shift and then right click anywhere to snap uh, this 3d cursor to position uh, so let's do shift a and rotate this 90 degrees I also want to keep this at scale so I will uh, so I went in and uh, got the dimension so the average I want to have the average high rise high rise um, flow height so that is about three meters so three meters we can go to the dimensions here and uh, for, for a plane uh, that would be the y direction since it does since a plane doesn't have any depth it won't have a uh, third dimension so let's do three meters and uh, this will be our flow height but uh, we also need uh, the the width of the window so of our window so I got that and uh, it was I think 13 feet uh, which gave us which gave me about uh, 3.4 uh, 4, 4 meters 4 meters but uh, you can see that uh, these are really narrow windows uh, so let's give uh, the entire fl uh, room I will call it a room uh, 3 meters as well then we can use this uh, line tool or measure tool to measure about Yeah, this this is supposed to be three I want a width of around let's use uh, two two point four because these are really narrow uh, windows so maybe even less than that let's use let's use two point two point three let's just use anything like that uh, but uh, so we can go into the, go in here, add a, a line, then bevel that. So I need to make for some reason when you go to edit mode, these annotations just are uh, these are uh, measure tools are, are hidden. Uh, let me see if I turn this on. Okay, so we can still see that. Now let's just keep it to that. And uh, so I will extrude in uh, just so to make uh, the the windows pushed in and I can select uh, this here extrude up just a little bit like that and uh, select this loop here and then extrude down like that so this is going to be our first floor I think the windows are still too too wide so let's make them a bit make them less wide So I assume that uh, every office has about two windows. So we can use the array now to have something like that. I will just use a negative value. Now let's have one, two, three windows like that. So that is our first floor. And uh, if we added another copy, uh, for the second floor so this is zero this is one and this is one you can see we can have uh, three floors already like that so this would be our first block and now uh, if we we can start texturing and uh, even add uh, those window materials in there so 
for now I'll apply uh, everything here the array and uh, also go in and remove any doubles remove double vertices and let's see what we have so we have something like this go to UV select everything and then unwrap see the issue here is that uh, and see we have distortions uh, our mesh is distorted because of uh, these windows here so to avoid that we can uh, select this is all the windows hit control plus uh, to select uh, that inset and then control e um pp let me first let me change to edge mode here and then control plus uh, it's still the same thing then we can add control e max scene max scene so we want uh, uh this these uvs to be as straight as our building here and uh, so that's why i'm adding the seams there to separate the inside of the windows from uh, from the entire from the other block so and uh, so the other thing i want to do is uh, uh because if i just unwrap right now uh even these insets here these faces here will be separated from the entire window uh, but I don't want to do that so I need to remove uh, this loop here I need to unseam uh, this these loops here so I'll just go to side view and select all the vertices here then control E clear seam and we should have something like that and now if I unwrap can see uh, the windows are straight uh, but uh, uh, this the floor here and I think we can select that alone if you just hit L you can see uh, we need to straighten them up so we can select this loop here straighten that and then select this you can right click and then auto align in whatever direction in whatever axis so this would be the Y axis and then we can spin these two control P sorry P uh, spin and then unwrap again uh, this will help on uh, straightening the others uh, but uh, it's not doing a good job so I'll unpin this and uh, just select these individual lines let me see why it's still not separated why it's not straight I see I see I see I see okay I see why it's not so let's uh, again select select these these faces then control plus control E maxim uh, so that we have the same thing we had at uh, uh, this time instead of selecting these uh, we can select uh, these here these faces then control E clear seam so that we separate the entire window you can see now everything is straight uh, the windows are straight and uh, if we go to shading and uh, add a new material and uh, a new image texture image texture uh, hit new and uh, change the uh, the generate type from blank uh, to green hit ok connect this to the base color you can see that uh, our grid is also straight so we just need if we go to edit mode to give it lift just need to make sure that uh, these windows are oriented in all in the same are rotated in the same direction so we can bring that make sure this is also rotated like that so good UVs will make your work uh, really easier. So that's why you see I'm spending us, I'm spending some good time on them. So just to make my life a bit easier. So if you need to scale them down a bit, you can scale them. But uh, make sure that there is some space in between them. In 
between the different islands uh, because it will be important uh, when it comes time to bake uh, the materials onto the texture. So I'll go in and uh, create a new project, call this building. So we can we'll start part two from here and uh, see how that goes.